back inside of Studio B for Game Time with Dennis Scott. I'm Jared Greenberg. For much more on Kobe Bryant's injury and to preview tonight's Bulls Thunder game, we go out to Oklahoma City where we find Greg Anthony. He'll call the game tonight on TNT with Marv Albert. Uh, GA, this is just shocking news to everybody around the NBA that Kobe's out. And you'd have to imagine, even with the competitor that he is, it's got to be frustrating for him to have to deal with another injury. There's no question. Uh, I don't want to call it devastating news, but in, in some respects it is because he really hadn't quite gotten back into the rhythm and the flow that, that we're accustomed to seeing from Kobe Bryant. You know, after the Achilles injury, now you add another six weeks on where he's not physically going to be able to do a lot because of where the injury took place. Uh, and you heard Steve Nash talking about the fact that they dealt with so many other issues in terms of injuries this year. It's just going to be a real challenge for this Lakers team mentally to get over the hurdle uh, and move forward. And, and GA, we talk about this a lot. Is this big picture? Could this help the younger guys for them to get back in their flow and then maybe Kobe comes back better, healthier, and they can make a playoff push? You know, I, I think it, it does help the younger guys get into a flow, but then you're still going to have that transition when he comes back uh, to try to, you know, him become more integrated. Remember, when he came back the, this past time, he, he wasn't the off guard. Basically, he was playing point guard for him for that entire stretch. So he, he really, he was never able to kind of integrate the, and play the way they're going to want him to play. Uh, but, but ultimately, this is going to make it really difficult, I think, for them to have a, a chance in the postseason. When you just look at the depth of that Western Conference with all the injuries that they've dealt with, uh, I think it's been to Mike D'Antoni's credit that they had been so competitive uh, and, and played so well up until Kobe's return. Uh, but but to, to, to see this team maybe make the postseason, I think that's asking a lot.